Hello future makers, welcome to Teacher Prenior. Maths is not about numbers, equations or algorithms. It's actually about understanding. Maths is the only subject that the students have a love-hate relationship with. And as a maths teacher, it is your role to make them fall in love with your subject again and again. No matter how great you are with the subject of maths, Facing an interview for the position of a maths teacher can be equally challenging. You might know how to solve word problems, but you might not know how to answer the questions that interviewers ask you. If that is your case, do not worry, because in today's video, Teacherpreneur is here to give you questions and answers for interview of a maths teacher. The video is full of value and I don't think you want to miss out on any of the information. So keep on watching the whole video till the end and now without wasting any more time, let's get started. Why are you interested in the role of a maths teacher? Ma'am, I think that maths is the most challenging yet fun subject to teach. The truth is that maths is in each and every aspect of our life. Right from the time we start our day to the time we end our day, we use maths in our day-to-day -day activities. Watching time, measuring things, looking at the distance, our grades, our television, buttons in the lift, everything has maths. I am interested in the role of a maths teacher because I want to integrate maths as a subject in real life for my students by giving relevant examples. If they understand the concept well, they will be better at life. They may also acquire skills on the go and hence it will help them in solving real life problems. So I believe that I would love to take up the role of a maths teacher in this field. What's the toughest part about teaching maths? Ma'am, I believe that the toughest part about teaching maths is the misconception that people have about the subject. Most of the students think that maths is a very difficult subject. But if you understand the concepts well, maths is like a cake. When I teach in the class, it's very easy to spot such students who hate maths as a subject. So I try and communicate with them and make them comfortable so that they can share their problems with me and I can come up with a solution for the same. What attracts you to teach maths at our school? I always wanted to work in a school where importance of maths as a subject is clearly established in the academics. When I went to the website of the school, I believe that the vision and mission statement of the school aligns with my teaching philosophy as well. I believe that my teaching style will fit well with the organizational's mission and hence we will encourage more students to learn and enjoy maths. I feel that my teaching style would fit well in the school and I can encourage more students to engage and learn maths in an effective manner and succeed at it. What are the skills and technologies that you feel would benefit our students? The number one base skill for maths subject is problem solving. Most of the sums start with the problem and we have to come up with a solution. So problem solving and logical reasoning are the skills that would really help my student. Technology is one of the most effective ways to integrate the teaching learning process and make it fun for the students. I would highly suggest apps like Math World or Math is Fun to my students. These apps will teach them mathematical concepts in gamification manner. Since they will engage well in learning maths, they will perform better in exams as well. Have you ever had a lesson that didn't go well? How did you manage them? First of all, I would like to talk to the student and understand that is it just a perception that they hate maths or in reality they find it difficult to understand the concepts of maths. Secondly, I think that maths is a very multidisciplinary subject. We can connect maths to any other subject. So, I would like to understand the student's area of interest and then connect it to the subject and the concept. Thirdly, I would get such teaching aids in class that understanding the concept will be easy and the students would love to engage in the class. I also know Vedic maths which can be taught as magic tricks or shortcuts to the students so that all their difficulties related to maths can be solved in the gym. What techniques do you use to engage difficult students? Uh, Ma'am, I will give more examples to connect the subject so that the kids can understand it very well. Secondly, 
I can also slower my pace down and repeat what I said if the students are not getting it. If this also does not work, I can change my teaching methodology to something that is more easy for my students. No matter what, if there is a lesson that the students don't seem to understand, I will not proceed further until the students have understood that topic. I will try my best up to the last technique so that my students understand the topic and then only we can go to the next one. Okay, so suppose you teach a maths concept and the students don't seem to get it at all. Would you change it? Yes, ma'am. To be honest, I had a lesson which was really difficult. It was a very heavy topic and the students could not connect because the base was not very strong. Because of this problem, no matter how much I kept on teaching, the students didn't understand at all. This frustrated me and I started yelling at them, only to realize that it was of no good. I have learned from that mistake of mine and now I try to maintain my calm and understand the core of the problem and then only approach the students. I refrain myself from yelling and get into effective classroom management techniques that make my lessons interactive and fun for my students. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching the whole video. At the end, I would only like to tell you that the most important thing a maths teacher can do is not teaching maths. It's just making the students believe that they can do maths as well. We hope you liked the way we showed how an interview of a maths teacher takes place. If you found it helpful, do hit the like button. Comment and tell us if you are nervous or excited about your upcoming maths teacher interview. Share this video with your teacher friends and subscribe to Teacherpreneur and press that bell icon to be a part of the Future Makers family. See you soon.